Hi everybody, uh, my name is Antonio, I'm the music executive for Jar Music Group and today I'm here at the British Girls Studio and we'll be remixing one of the bands coming from um, the Plugged In event um, and I just really, before we go, I want to take you, take you through and look at this brilliant studio, this is the uh, British Girls Studio. You have the Neva desk, analog, um, but more before I tell you about this one, let's go on to this one. This one is basically the analog desk which was used by uh, the Beatles. Um, you've heard of them, the wall of sound, and um, this is what it was produced on, and this is the only version that is actually in the UK. You get that as well, I mean what you're looking at at the moment is, um, which is a live room. Um, this can actually cater up to about 50 musicians. And sometimes you have orchestras in here, like um, last yesterday we had an orchestra in here of 50 pieces. Um, and it's a, it's, a brilliant, it's a brilliant live room simply because it's also versatile. Um, if you look onto the right hand side over there you see that um, these boots or the doors that you can see there can actually either open up here to extend the live room or they can actually separate it so you can have different sort of recording booths. This is a Neve 88RS analog desk and it's configured to 96 channels. And whatever city you're in, if you see one of these here, then you know that your sound is in good hands. Um, the desk is engineered to deliver recordings at the best conceivable quality onto any format at any sample rate. And it really does capture the energy and atmosphere of the original performance. Some of the bands who have um, um, recorded here are Razorlight, Bon Jovi, Brian Adams, Dizzy Rascal. And that is why the studio has won for two years running the British Guild Awards for Best Studio. Here's all of the, the tapes. I mean, many of you will know this 24. This is a 24 track. This is another 24. Um, but that one is a Wayne's track. And, um, and here you have another one, which is a 16 track. People just tend to ask us um, why it is that we do, um, um, what's the purpose of these projects. But of course, yeah, I mean, in terms of unsigned bands, I mean, unsigned bands really don't get um, the exposure or the support. And what, what we propose to do, Jar Music Group, and also the labels that we, um, I'm affiliated to, is really to develop the bands and give them the resources and the tools in order for them to succeed. And I believe that a good recording and getting their material or coming into a studio such as this one and seeing really how they sound is, is excellent. Of course, we can't bring every single band in here, so we pick and choose the ones that we believe um, um, can make a success. Um, but at the same time, as well, all of the recordings from from these live shows that Jar Music Group run comes into here. We have a listen to them, and of course, we pick the best bands in order to record. We have a uh, Mad Dog at the moment, and. Um, um, Mad Dog is a band I played on the 28th, I believe, at the O2 Academy, and um, we've lifted all their tracks now. Um, we've, um, we've remixed them, adding some wonderful things. So if you come in here, you will hear, you hear what we've done. Make as much noise as you can. downstairs um, this this particular venture uh, together with the plugged in live uh, with our music group 
Um, it, it, it's, re it's really just about uh, providing the bands with um, all of those opportunities which are lacking at the moment. I mean, I understand you're having produced quite a variety of different, uh, different acts um, and been successful with them. That's, of course, yeah, you know, bands need the resources, they need the tools um, to, to, to actually get their music out, or even just, just to find out whether or not they're a band that can actually ride up, those, ride up the charts. Um, or they have the sort of sound or the sort of techniques and musicianship in order to, in order to achieve their, their goals. This particular event is like the Plugged In and also the Breakout, which we, um, I believe Joel will be linking to, to, to a session here with this, these particular studios. We'll, we'll, we'll provide bands with the, great, with the greatest opportunity. I mean, all bands have to do realistically is perform a show, um, perform it well, um, and from time to time, um, John Music Group will always pass on um, their recordings um, to us, and we will then review those recordings and then see what um, we can do in terms of um, in terms of helping them out. Today has been a great experience for Mad Dog. Um, they've been here. They've enjoyed um, both the live studio downstairs. Obviously, we've been here now for eight hours. In terms of the bands out there that are watching this video, um, what I would advise them to do, I mean I know in this industry sometimes a lot of blaggers, a lot of people who say different things, but this particular video is really sort of to, to, to confirm how, how committed um, both our music group is, um, the labels that are affiliated to, the, to, to uh, the company in terms of developing bands. And I hope that um, you've enjoyed uh, this short film enjoyed the tour of this studio and I'm hoping to see one of you guys, one of you bands in the future here.